It's code red in the division of giants as the big boys are set to throw down in a menacing main event. There's a monster on the loose from Paris and is built like a truck. He's powerful and mean. Those who go to the ground cannot escape his grasp. It's looking for the hill hook. There's the tap! As the undefeated behemoth stalks his way forward once again, facing a Russian, a man who has made it his business to slay the mightiest giants. Oh, say hello to a new heavyweight contender in his own quest for a title. Oh, it's UFC Fight Night, Gon versus Volkov, and it starts right now. Siddle Gan is the favorite in this matchup. Tonight's fight clock is brought to you by the U.S. Army. Siddle Gan in the blue, minus 150. Beautiful jab. And I believe if he fights behind the jab like that, man, because he's so long. Oof, the speed of Gan is... He's fast, man, athletic. So incredible. Pounds heavier than when he fought Curtis Blades last June. Have the strength. Oh, nice jab by Gan. Yeah, it's Siddle Gan. No, stays right on the feet. Oh. Body kick for Gon, return with a leg kick. Each wants to counter. This oh, Gon. did you see that? What was that? Who did we used to see do that? Silva? Would do that kind of fling like old school. <laughs> there it is. Take down the tip there by Gon. Beautiful defense by Volkov. A grin at oh, each other nice. as they kind of look for a way in. Now it's getting a little busy here. Oh, three nice fighters. Round two coming up. Numbers might tell us that. Who knows what the judges right. saw? Because that's the thing. Because the numbers, I couldn't. Have I would have been surprised that. during the action. A lot of times that happens, all right? Like weights. He uses these kicks, and then when he goes, the hand speed is. But I think that's why you see Volkov with a little bit more of a reserved approach as he had against aware of the threat that's in front of him. It's that speed. When you don't see it. Gon keeps him on his heels, too. Could be it as well, Brennan. We're talking about, you know, how maybe we didn't realize that the Cyril that's landing the jabs. Busy. Changes. Oh. Oh. Volkov in height. Again, the reach is just an inch in uh, separation here. And an eye poke there from Gon. Ooh, nice knee to the body. Self a little more. Start throwing these combos. There's Gon advancing. Nice jab there by Cyril. Gon starting to mount the aggression here. Volkov wiped on. He went the distance against Jairzinho Rosen strike back in February. That also came in February. Nice left hand there by Volkov. As if, if Volkov finds, if Volkov just gets calm. Gone loading up there as he tried to frame up Volkov along the fence. He starts to make Volkov fight closer than he wants to be. That's there. You heard the corner of Alexander Volkov. They want him out in space. Successfully gets him. Every time he punches. The movement there for Gon. And you see, oh, wow. Gon's starting to put the foot on the gas pedal a little bit here. Explode a little more than you saw in the whole Jarzinho. You can maybe feel or see that he feels that the threat has started to kind of go down a little bit. The Volkov threat may have waned a little bit for him. Oh, that uppercut landed. Oh, yeah. Having to breathe through his mouth, maybe starting to fatigue a little bit. I mean, it's been a steady rise in his output. Orkins of round three is. Gon continues to apply the pressure. And the main event rounds four and five on ESPN Plus. Fourth round underway. Fight the favorite. And he's starting to put his punches together now. 
frustrated. Yeah, frustrated and a bit confused, right? Ooh. We all spoke to him having the advantages, him having the ability to control and dictate. Outside of Curtis Blades. <laughs> but Curtis Blades has more oh. levels, right? Curtis Blades. Beautiful combo. Volkov was able to get one uppercut in there. Nice jab there by Volkov. And a right hand. Those two big punches for Alexander Volkov, his biggest lands of the fight, able to keep the judge. If you're a fighter, what you want to do is confuse the judges. Yeah. Because the way things go, right? They just score stuff all over the Oh, oh nice jab. Successfully frames without eye poking right now. Yeah, right? Every time his hands go straight up, right on his head. he's done that multiple oh. times without even poking. If you get round four, you may have a fight getting judged on the fifth round. Sit down, loads up. I mean, they feel you like they won the with fourth. On they can only be saying he won one and four, right? right? Which is but down the stretch. I thought Cyril oh. fought well in the fourth round. Yeah, towards the end of that round. He just tweeted that. <laughs> Now he's minus 700 on the line yeah. odds. Oh, a couple of step in these. He's got him backing up. He's got him on his heels. And he stays forward and starts all the exchanges. He's done a great job countering. But I really wish that as we get down the stretch, get three and four out, oh. and Volkov's just empty the chamber. Yeah, he really hasn't. It's been jabs and kicks and the occasional right hands that we saw in round four. Oh, oh. uppercut there. Because he hasn't been letting it fly. Yes. I mean, he's landing at 66%. He's taken four or five shots and he hasn't gotten one, but again, level changes are going to be. Yep. Stop. He didn't oh, get his hands straight up that time, I don't believe. Already on an eye poke. The first one wasn't nearly as bad as this oh, one. Oh, man, my that goodness. Is. Right. Right. The second that he can. Two. Three. <laughs> okay. Fight. So, Volkov, you would think, because of the striking numbers, Let's fight. would really need to turn all time oh. for significant strikes in a heavyweight fight. That it would have changed the fight so much. I know he got a warning, but we're there to end it. One more! One more! Time will expire. Winner by unanimous decision, Cyril Bonkamen. Go!